Hey everybody, it's Daniel Jangula with another edition of Tips from the Trainer. For today's video uh, or exercise, this thing is kind of like a little bit of everything in one. I actually brushed the dust off this exercise for the first time in a couple years when I was just having an off day at the gym. I didn't feel like hitting anything in particular, but I wanted to get a little bit of everything fired up. So this exercise is called the Turkish Get Up. It's a really great exercise, particularly for uh, shoulder uh, stability and a lot of different ranges of motion, but you're also gonna get a lot of core activation, even a little bit of leg activation too. For anybody that has issues with shoulder mobility, particularly the overhead movement, or if you have any wrist issues, there's some stages in this exercise that might bug you. So maybe proceed with caution. It's not something for everybody, but for those that can move freely without any pain, really great, really fun way to kind of switch things up for you. So it could be helpful to break this exercise down into three parts to make it a little more digestible. The first is gonna be me lying on my back. I'm holding the weight right uh, directly above my shoulder with an active shoulder, a little bit of serratus activation to keep everything nice and packed. Uh, also that same side leg, uh, the same side leg that I'm holding that weight in. Uh, that knee is gonna be at a 90 degree angle while the foot is planted firmly on the ground. The other leg is just extended out to the side. My uh, opposite arm is gonna be just out to the side. I'm gonna be rolling over onto that elbow, a quick powerful rotation while I bring my torso up off the ground. I'm on my forearm and then eventually I'm gonna move myself onto my hand. The second stage, I'm gonna come from that position where I'm on my hand, arm is up overhead, torso's off the ground. I'm gonna push my hips up into a bridge position. Both glutes really active, those hips up nice and high. The leg that's opposite to the arm that I'm holding the weight in is gonna swing underneath me and I'm gonna wind up on that knee while my other leg, I'm, uh, I've got my foot planted in front of me. So I wind up in a half kneeling position. At the end of this, my arm is directly overhead. Third movement is quite simple. I'm gonna start from that half kneeling position, arms directly overhead, and I'm gonna push off from that front leg, pulling myself up into a standing position. Uh, I wanna make sure that I've got a really tight core throughout all of that, and obviously my shoulder has to be quite active through those different ranges of motion to keep that weight nice and stable. To get back down to the finish or the start position again, I'm just gonna reverse those steps, come down into a half kneeling position, go onto my hand, swing my leg out, wind up in that bridge position, position before I lower my hips and then slowly lower my torso down as I slide my other hand out to the side and then uh, I'm back down at the start position laying on the ground with the weight up over top. So there you have it. You have what looks like a relatively complex exercise broken down into a few bite-sized chunks to make it easier to digest. If you want to practice one stage in isolation so that you can kind of groove it a little bit more as a whole, that might not be a bad idea. When I'm applying this in my own workouts, usually I'm doing a little bit more of a moderately heavy uh, weight. So, you know, I might only do singles alternating from side to side and maybe do maybe like five to eight per side. If you're using a lighter weight, you could do multiple reps uh, per set, maybe three to five kind of thing. You definitely don't want to be going to the point where you're getting so tired that fatigue is uh, um, making your form break down, okay? If you want to use a lighter weight but still want a little bit more of a challenge, if we do something like a bottoms up hold with the kettlebell, it's going to make it a lot more obvious when you kind of deviate from uh, a strict column. It's also going to be a really great ch uh, challenge for your grip strength on top of everything else. So uh, again, start slow, um, pay attention to those areas that you're having trouble with and really try to iron out those uh, wrinkles and uh, hope you all have fun with it.